Hey guys, welcome back. I've been just AFKing out so that the Nameless One can regenerate. We are in Farad's um, room? Where are we at again? What's it called? Farad's court. He gave us the task to head over. Time is precious. Let us not squander it here. Can I talk to you? What is your will? There are things I would like to know. How can I talk to you about your teachings? Can you teach me anything of weapon craft? I am redirect one towards the craft of war, but I cannot advance their skill by weapons are not of steel, but of will and knowing of this self very well. I ever need to resume a fighter position while I ask you. Talk to me about your teaching. Can you teach me anything about the art? I know that I am not a teacher, but this I know that I serve as a guide. If I can find a teacher first. Ah, all right, cool. So all right. we can help us out if we ever get there. But back to the point was we were given the task by Farad to find a brass orb he said in the gates to the south. All right. Did we grab that? Yeah, we did. Who I need to talk to? Okay. You see a massive human dressed in cutoffs, patchwork clothes. What do you want? Fraud gave me his leave to go down to the catam, so I need to. I need you to open the gate. He swings open the gate and get going, Burke. Don't waste my time. All right. Let's see ya. All right. Right off the bat, enemy sighted. And it just looks like some loot. The grave has been thoroughly discarded. Or desecrated, sorry. Desecrated. 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 What's the word, Chief? Go get him, Marty. All right. Good as done. Maybe, maybe come back, Marty. All right. Human skull. That for him. Generic human skull is not talkative as Marty, but perhaps it just as well. Now, oh, Marty, you can hang on to the skull. You know what, Marty? You can hang on to my body parts. There you go, Marty. There you go. Alright. What's up? I'm gone. Sounds it appears to have been hurled from a sarcophagus. Alright, well. Get the cream here. Get the rat. Die. Balance and your will be done. There we go. Add that to the pile. All right. Oh, what is that? A ghoul. Loot that real quick. Antler axe. All right, let's. All right, this is ghost places. All right. Done. Sure, why not? Coming? I'm gone. Oh. I was just afraid of there being like a disease. Done. Oh gosh. Right. Huh? Morty, get that. You two gentlemen, jack up the ghoul. It is I. Your path is mine. Of course, the one that can't what? regenerate is the one that's getting hit. Uh, oh, man, that hits. Done. Oh. Alright, daggers are useless. What door is this? Of the embraced a shattered crypt.
done. I guess Crypt of Embraced? Let's check that out. Despite the age of this crypt, these coffins appear to be in near perfect condition. Alright. Blood smears leading to the large coffin. I'm gone. I'm going around it. I'm in the middle of the. Never mind. Endure. In enduring, grow strong. What's up, Chief? I'm hurt. Oh. Dang. Did you see that? Looks like that's up for the bill. Welcome back, Chief. Ah, we're alright. Fully healed, so to speak. I hear your words. What's up? Balance, I shall serve. Gold bracelet. Did you see that? Oh my gosh, these guys hit hard. I'm hurt. Encore, encore. You have awakened. All right. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, it is I. Your path is mine. Yes. Poor Dakon. I knew him well. I need you to use your special. Did you see that? My gosh. I'm hurt. I hope he doesn't lose his memories this time. Oh. Uh, feels like I've been strained through all my bowels. Endure. Nice. Enduring grow strong. I'm gone. I will hear you. I shall serve. Oh. All right. All right. Balance in all things. Your will be done. Loot all your things. Force missile. And a magical dagger. Oh my gosh, no wonder why he was jacking us up. I'm gone. So apparently that triggers. Gris, this is the corpse of a man with this surprised look on his beak nosed face. It's hard to tell how he died, whether from the numerous horrific slashing wounds across his abdomen and throat, or from blood loss incurred when his right arm was nearly sh severed from his shoulder. It's a bad way to go. If I could talk to him, I'm sure he'd have a tell. I wonder if that's one of my like necromantic powers that I can use. Script on the wall's long dead language it appears to show the life progress of the inhabitants. Okay. I'm gone. For sports these hold sarcophagus apparently used to have been something Bonds look like they have been not exclusive. Alright. I'm gone. Nice. Two dragons have worn. Lock piercing enhance. Ooh. Club, high quality stiletto. 
Maybe she was evidence that someone used to encrypt their home. All right. That's just regular punching daggers. Let's. There we go. And then that should make it so my hit bonus. There we go. All right. So I should be hitting a lot better now. Put my pet back. I know what that's used for. What my limb limb is used for. All right. So we've gotten this top half done. Horns of thought. Okay. Let's continue investigating. It sounds like more rats. There we go. Oh, that's not good. Balance in all things. What's up, Chief? It is I. I shall serve. Ugh, I'm hurt. What's the word, Chief? All right, get him up. Okay, what's up? Get him. Damn. All right. Damn it. Come on, get him. And then you are a zombie. Not too bad. So this is kind of interesting, the, the game has gone like so long without like solid amount of combat. His body appears to have been equipped and outfitted after the flesh decayed from its bones. After? Endure, your will be done. Oh, I'm gone. What does this let me do? Dead by the corpse lies motionless, no amount of prodding. This is not the zombie. All right. I hear you. I shall serve. All right, let's collect that. All right. Get next to this entrance. It's dangerous here. Wait, this one says that it's, it looked like someone was using it as their home. Maybe I can use it as a home. No, too dangerous here. All right. I'm gone. All right, can I use this one? No. Okay. Done. All right, so how about this? Let's hurry up and run back to, um, what's her name? So that we can. All right. Door's locked, what? You got that bread's wanting, Burke? Not yet. If you don't have it, will you waste my time, the guards? I don't have it, but I do have something you might be interested in. Ten coins? I don't think so. Twenty-five coins. Fifty coins. 100 coins. That'll do nicely past it through the open gate. Make him reach for it. Can I grab his arm? Reach through the gate. Grab his arms and pin it. 
Don't mess with me. You definitely pin his arm back against the gate and wretch it. The guard screams in agony. It's a crack in its socket. Let me in or I'll break it. He hesitates to open the gate before you make a good on your threat and stands out for the reach of the pass with the gate. Another will cross me again and will pick your limbs. If you ever pick my... Okay. If you ever cross me again, we'll be picking your limbs out of three different crypts. I like that threat. Of course. I'm gone. Let's go heal. Questions? Can we rest here? Very well. Alright. So, that tomb... Does, or the catacombs does not seem nice. Seems to be full of, well, magic-wielding cranial rats. And All right. undead. Let's see. Is Bar going to be giving us issues again? Garth, uh, loathing but seems to hesitate, hesitate to open the gas ring. Top of the morning, lads. <laughs> oh, lessons learned. Alright, so... Runs of thought. That doesn't sound so good. Um, All right. right here. Seems to turn into an intersection. What are those? Lesser Borguli? Ah, skull, dagger. Okay. Throw a skull. What's up, Chief? Get on. Balance in Get all on. things. Damn. Man, these things are nasty. What's the word, Chief? I feel stronger. Damn. I'm gone. I mean, they give decent XP. Motions guess it's not a zombie then. Alright. Let's uh let's level up then. Saving throws improved, fighting skills have improved. One characteristic point gained, ten HP is gained, plus one because of constitution. That's too con for now. Now I'm up to 61. So that hat two seems to compound with the HP. So yeah, it doesn't just have 56 HP, but with that hat two with plus one con really jacks me up. Um, unused. Um, how do I pick a proficiency information? Done. Into how to proficiency slot. Hold on a second. See if I can find that. All right. So apparently it's. Um, I have to find a trainer to someone that is known to be a, a fighter. Wow, oh, the face of Goliath's face in the stone. Goliath, as you pass one of the twisted stone faces of the falls, it calls out to you. 
in a creaking voice that sounds like a shifting of boards. A mortal, regard me. I am glad I would have words with you. How do you know I'm immortal? I see a burning purpose within your shell. I see many things in the falling of dust of these tunnels. You lack something essential, and that keeps you from death's sweet embrace. What did you want to say to me? Listen, this place holds much danger for you. Treachery awaits you. On the surface, and your way is long and winding. At the end, you will find what you have sought, but you may not want it then. Maybe you'll have some answers for me. What did you want to know? Tell me of yourself. How did you come to be in this situation? I was once a respected leader of my community in the lower ward, a petty lord thought to increase his power at the expense of my people, my friends, my relatives, friends, and I spoke against him. And what then? And then he captured us one by one, bound our spirits and senses into these screaming faces under the ditch. Where all the filth and sigil comes eventually. And then he let the polluted waters above flow through our mouths and noses and eyes. Is there any way I can help? I am cursed to remain here still until fresh water passes my lips. There is a magical flask of water in the round nation. Bring it to me, give me a taste of it, and I shall tell you of someone who can help you unlock the full potential, and you shall never lack for water again. Updated my at? journal. I do not know where there was an artist named Chad who frequented these tunnels. He knew. Find him. He may tell you. And how do I get there? Through the dead nations, where the dead walk and rule, or the warrants of thought, where many as one hold sway, neither is without risk. Dead nations. The dead have achieved life in their own way. They rule a portion of these catacombs. They struggle with many as one for the heart of these tunnels. You have heard of the Cranium Rats? When they gather, they become more powerful. A shared mind. And they, uh, they and their servants, were rats seek mastery of the undertunnels. They war with the dead nations. Catacombs were carved eons ago to house the dead of the city, who did not wish the tender ministratums of the dustmen. They have become the refuge ground of the city where dwell monsters barely seen where humans prowl like scavengers among the scavengers many as one patrols these tunnels they have turned many against their natures the dead nations prowl as well guarding against the depredations of the humans who come among them that's it all right, so we gotta save this guy. Can I put it in my journal? Find the decanter of endless water. I'm gone. Thankfully, most of the barrels got onto the Mosaic room. Okay. Ready. The inlet of the mosaic room seems to be sitting in a slight depression. It looks like it's been scraped the color from the tiles around it. The caps are rusted to the ground and cannot be opened. It looks like a controlled airflow into the crypt. Name warnings. Okay, the names and warnings inscribed on the stone have been chipped away. Done. Okay. 
door is locked. Okay. Forced it. Yeah, so we sledgehammer, money, and a skull. Okay. Well, it's a big hammer. We got a lot of identify five identifiers to go. I'm gone. All right. So I think that was a trap that I just ran through. Looks suspicious. Oh my gosh, these things. Get them. I'm gone. Got wrecked. Oh my gosh, more of them. Not bad. Doing better. How's XP's going? Oh my gosh, it's a lot of XP to get level six. We're almost five. Oh, so close to four. Okay. All right. Did you see that? That was a hit. guys have boots. Did you see that? Stocked it. What does this lead to? Dead Nations Catacombs. Okay. Dead man's neck still writhes as if it were trying to twist itself off its body. That's it. That would make sense of those weird bat things. Which look horrible. Oh, gosh. Alright, you know what? We're going to cast the blessing. What's up? Uh, did everyone Endor, like? I shall serve. Did everyone move out too far? Hopefully this level's up. Die. The Karak rings true. I hear your words. In knowing the teachings of Zerthamon, they have become stronger. Right. He did level up. Where's this go? Crypt of the this and this and far. Okay, I need to find that scroll. How to scroll to identify? Because that would be nice. All right, let's level My them up. My blade has shifted. Blade is shifted. John's weapon has changed. Fighting skills have improved. All right. Balance in all things. Plus one armor class. Plus one memorization of an additional level one spell. <gasps> I think the plus one armor class already thing. All right. All right. What's the difference between Reign of Anger? Three six points of damage. One extra missile every two levels. Two to five. Two to six. There's one extra damage. I guess I didn't need to learn magic missile. Hold on to that. We'll get two. It 
his eye. I hear your words. All right, let's head in here. Well, this looks like closely down in dark. You can hear something moving down below. The stench of rotting meat rises from them. Slightly entrusted with old, dry blood. All right, so this is. I will hear you. I shall serve. This is huh? a trap room. Sure, this why not? has to be a trap room. Done. Off to the side. What is this? This beetle looking coffin seems cunningly built and potentially deadly. You're gonna come alive? Everything. Trap door leading down to the under chamber. Flakes of rust. Ow. Oh gosh. What? Sure, why not? I'm excited. What is all this? This is a sickening pool of dye dried and dry and blood and gore. It looks like there were many of something in the interest. Some of the low manufacturing machinery that powers the devices above. Okay. What's Great and all, can we um can we turn this off? Balance in all things. It is I shall serve. We all ran. I'm gone. The walls. An arm. Severed arm. Special gives new tattoos. Alright, another thing I can't identify. At this rate, we're gonna have to use it. Done. Can we sleep here? No. Of course not. Why would we be able to get to sleep here? Endure. In enduring, right. grow strong. You know what we're gonna do? I will hear you. Do it. Alright. Pain mirror. This item can be used from the quick item slot. But if you use this item, causes the attacker to feel the same pain and hurt that the. That's kind of neat. Enchanted battle axe. Two to nine plus one enhancement. Taco. Bone dagger. That's nice. Causes confusion. Usable, usable only by thieves. Hmm. Enchanted hammer. Somatic rod. Okay, so magic mixel rod. Not severed arms. Severed arm is the hand of a wooden club. It looks like it was severed cleanly from its shoulder, most likely by a scythe blade, and even though it looks listeners, you know for a fact that this arm is yours. Hold up. However long it has been lying around waiting for you is some anyone's guess. You can't explain why, but you feel like you should take this arm to a tattoo artist and have it examined. The two tattoos might tell something of what happened to your pre precious incarnation when this arm was still attached to him. So if this is my arm, whose arm do I have on me right now? Die. Done. Endure. All right. Your will be done. Ow. What's the word, Chief? Okay. Okay. Done. 
them. Yep. It was a trap room. Done. I called it. I know my trap rooms. Greetings and vents to be drained. Enemy sighted again. All right. These guys just constantly spawn. I hear your words. No, it's not used spells yet. Done. I think I'm liking him with the big hammer. Oh my gosh. seems to start hitting real nice like all right so here's the tedious task let's go heal all right now let's go back into the catacombs let's talk to this jerk yep 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 let me in Oh my gosh. Okay. Just sneak past. Balance so your will be done. This stuff does come back, done. so we can do a bit of a grind here. Let's see, XP wise. Still a lot. XP. All right. What's in here? All right. Yeah. Good as done. Oh. Oh. Bombing fluid. Haven't seen that for a while. Yeah, we good. What? Assuming that's a wear rat. Alright, that goes down like a little wuss. Wear rat skull. Sure. Jack it up. Again, all skulls go to Marte and wear the ring for these. All right. Okay. So this is the Warrens of Thought, which is going to be, I think, the rat people. Which I don't want to deal with the rats. Let's let's do undead. I know undead. I'm like half undead. So let's see how this goes. Oh, cutscene. I'm gonna get too many of those. That is a lot of debtors. Argrim the bleak. Stop. Thou have come too far, traveler. And trespassing into the dead nation's realm of the silent king, will thou submit peacefully? Submit to what? It is the will of the Silent King that all who pass the gates into our nation become prisoners of his lands. Will thou sh submit? No, I will not. Then thou shalt die here in the Silent King's Hall. Very well, I will submit. I don't want to fight. Come then. We shall show thee to the chapel. Know this, thou shalt be free to wander these halls, but not to leave the catacombs. Thou shalt be a prisoner here until thy death. Should thou later arise as we have, thou shalt be free. Praise the Silent King. 
his will be done. Updated my journal. Just follow them. Well, Tecton have already died, so what's the deal? Sago. Ah, another member of the living. Most are slain by the ghouls this far into the catacombs. You are fortunate. Who are you? I am Sago, Actorum of the Dustman. I am a missionary in these parts. He gives a half bow. Missionary. Yes, I come to these catacombs after hearing rumors of dead that were aware of these parts. I hope to save them. Save them? Yes. Passion ties them to their false life. I hope I can teach them to forsake these passions and leave this false life behind and reach their true death. Okay. Why have I become a prisoner here? I do not know. Ask some of the citizens here. Who are you? Uh, where am I? You are in the catacombs of the dead nations. The guards brought you here. Alright, well, I guess that's all I wish to know. Oh, a moment of your time before you go. Do not attack any of the undead here in the catacombs. They will not harm you as long as you remain peaceful. Should you prove hostile, they will defend themselves. And they are many of them. Hastily, you may return here if you need to rest. Updated my journal. Well, I'm already rested. All right. There's a table. The metal slab is apparently used as a bed. There seems to be a portion on the side that can be pried open. Pried open, look inside. We're not we're not going to be able to pry into Sega's thing while he is around. Oh, 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 those those are his. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that was yours. Oh, ten bandages. Small brazier gives off. Light. That's light. Okay. That's cool. That's a boat ton of bandages. Two. Life for. Oh my gosh. There we go. Alright. Five for Draken. Five for Marty. There we go. Oh my god. Got so much healing going on. I'm gone. Alright. Well, the cool thing is I got the mace, which. Hopefully crushing damage does, like, extra damage. Painter is locked. My butt. Forced it. Battle axe. Quality. I mean, that's cool. That's Forced it. cool and all, but, uh... Forced it. Yeah, that's what strength is for. Okay, junk. Five hundred. Okay. What's up? Sure, why not? Actually, yeah, you know what? Sure. Done. We'll just loot the place. This is like a church. Oh man, look at it. Pull up blood Done. bridge. What are you? Scroll of Blood Bridge. Bizarre compact of the healer's heart and the merchant's mind. The necromantic spell transforms your very body into a marketplace that barters life and death. Your life essence can be given to others at the cost of yourself. When you cast the mage spell, select any living non-undead target within touch range and gain life for, from itself. Two hit points plus one hit point. Give it to the target. Okay. When you cast a spell, can select any living non-undead target in touch range and drain the life from himself and give it to the target. Oh, okay, so I take my health and give it it's it's like a it's like a ghetto heal. I'm gonna hang on. I'm gonna put it in with him because he's a caster, you know, like I'm trying to organize all my spells. But if I can multi-class like he can. That will be cool. Cool. All right, let's, I guess, explore for now. What do we got going on right now? Chapel, there goes chambers. Cave in. 
daggers. Alright. The helpful skeleton. There was no meat left on the bones of this ancient animated corpse, only a few colored rags, which seemed to serve more as decoration than clothing. It is staring at the floor, shaking its head, tapping its chin thoughtfully. Greetings. Makes no response, apparently lost in thought. I said greetings. It looks up, and seeing you sighs with a small puff of dust. <laughs> I've much on my mind, and I would prefer to be left alone. There's something I can help with. Here we go, picking up more quests. No, I have a difficult decision to make, it's all. What decision Updated is that? My journal. Do you continue my life, here or to die? Do you finally pass into the true death I have been told of? I see no reason why you should give up your life. Well, let's ask him what his concept of the true death is. A complete absence of passion. The true death is the true life beyond this shadow of existence. It's said that we must reach this place to free ourselves. I see no reason why you should give up your life. I shall take the end of thy words into consideration. Now I have to ask you to lead me to my thoughts. Okay. Well, well, yeah, man. Iron tapestry's shut. There's no way in to open. Zombie. Stale Mary. Hi, Stale Mary. This musty smelling female zombie looks exceptionally old, almost mummified. Her skin has the appearance of molding gray green leather, and one of her eyes has fallen out, leaving a dark pit in her face. Her voice is slow and thick. Uh, greetings. She indicates herself and speaks again. Dale Mary. It sounds as if her vocal cords are festering away in some soupy mess at the base of her throat. Still, Mary, I have some questions. Ooh, have you seen a small bronze spear here? She mumbles and groans, shuddering completely and incoherent. I can't understand. I can't. She shakes her head sadly. Her shoulders rise up. Really shrug. Aw, poor stale Mary. Wait, can I talk to you about anything else? Um, why have I been a, made a prisoner? I up with something kind of... Some other questions. Let me ask you of someone in particular. Aww. I wonder if I can um. talk to her better, if I can learn how to talk to the dead better. Like it was kind of hinted at. <laughs> I'm sorry, a skeleton merchant? Yeah, I'm not gonna advance that with officially. Seems to be. Oh my gosh. Undead, it's family, it's usually what it takes. Wait, wait, wait. Why don't you want. Why not, Morte? They are once humans, they are the answers, especially on corpse, and there is what they've become. Pretty nasty stuff, Chief. A little more than animals, really. I'll talk to her just the same. Ghoul narrows her eyes and snarls at you, her tongue no less than two words. Two hands, Saras. I had some questions. Ghoul continues to eye you hungrily. She clutches and unclutches her claw, clawed fists as if fighting the urge upon. Okay, farewell. Never mind. I meant to click on the merchant. You see a skeleton bouncing from from the ball of the foot through the other. Air whistling between its teeth. It looks very, very bored. As you approach, its demeanor changes entirely. Welcome, welcome. I've got a host of items for your personal fresh, oh, fresh from the latest Berks who've been trying to loot the quiet ones. 
Would you like to see what I have? Sure, show me what you got. I'm going to keep my pry bar. Actually, I don't need the hammer. Oh, you will buy those. All right. Sell that. Buy that 600. I'll do that. Still hanging. Low quality sledgehammer. High quality sledgehammer. Spiked knuckles. Plus one, plus one. That's cool. Charm of recall. That's awesome. Elysium Tears. Master chooses any single target within range, then a stream of small meteors rain down and strike the target and surrounding area. One meteor for each level of experience, up to the maximum of 10. Each missile then hits and inflicts 1 to 2 points of blunt damage and 1 to 4 points of fire damage. Anyone within 3 feet of the target takes 1 point of fire damage as well. Cool. Ice knives. Oh my gosh, that's a description. So it seems like magic missile, but with ice. I really like that. Level two. All right, we'll buy it. All right. Well, that's. We'll leave that. I'm gone. On. I'm gone. Forced it. Hunts. I'm gone. Oh. Okay. There's a lot to potentially Forced loot. A okay, wooden club. It's nothing to me. Okay, guys. There we go. Forced it. There does seem to be a lot to loot here. All right. Done. I'm sorry, what? Failed. Failed. There must be something in there. For me to fail. Forced. A strength check. That is interesting. Okay. That's not another entrance, is it? No, it's not. Okay. Door. Okay. In enduring, right. grow strong. Yes. Finish exploring. Over here. Stop. <laughs> Door is locked. What is this? Oh, it's spooky. Iron Hughes lid opens to a small coffin area. Oh, hi, guys. Massive skeleton, far larger than an ordinary human, wears ornate bronze armor engraved with elaborate symbols. As you approach it, it looks down at you briefly, and then away again. Greetings. 
Greetings, living. Things voice booms. I stand here as royal guard to, of his lord and majesty, the Silent King. I must ask that you do not disturb me from my task with questions. Okay, farewell. That seems straightforward right. and light. Antechamber of the Silent King's throne room. See what she has to say. Ascate, a rot, rot stink of this ancient looking ghoul woman is nauseating. Even from a distance, her gray green skin is infected with tomb rot and festering sores, and her fingers, each capped by a long curved talon, are covered in dry blood and filth. Her hair, thick with scuttling insects and worms, hangs to her knees. It hides nearly all her face in shadow save for a fanged feral grin and a lolling gray tongue greetings it's what have we here some pretty meat i a little tough grizzle sharpen me teeth on your bone and not grow fat on your marrow hmm had some questions who are you to come here before me like a beast answer Cass. i have no name then neither does us escante i call you bloodied one I pray you still have a name and a will before I tear you apart. Bloodied one. Meet people to eat, her yellow eyes peering intently at you through her ragged white hair. Got some other questions. Go, pester Ascanti while you still live, meet. Ask. Have you seen a small bronze sphere anywhere? Takes her head, lice dropping from hers. It opens many coffins, many tombs, but I've never seen such a thing. I had some other questions. Let me ask you of someone in particular. Five. Pale blooded one who sleeps in dust and smells like blooded rat. He, he first I eat. He smells of bloodied rat. What good eating him anyways? He stink of dust but ripe blood and meat beneath his pale skin. Good to eat. What's a bloodied rat? Go, squeak, squeak, run into the dark tunnels. Catch snacks, hard to get. Warm flesh, easy crunch and teeth, many of them elsewhere. We go kill them and eat them all. Hunger go away with so many in belly, always retching up, watching us with red, juicy eyes and dark want to eat them. I think she's referring to the cranium rats. Why am I a prisoner? Because he didn't catch you in the dark halls where you'd have been a meal to us. She shakes her head, snarling. Damn the silent king. Damn his old bones. Meat caught here by the others. Stays here until it joins the others. Tell me about the silent king. Unseen king, not silent, he say. We do. Marrow, stuff, bones, and herd of dead flesh obey him, no question. I still did not see, I still did only hear. One day I shall meet this one. Meet this one. Yes, Ascati is strong and silent, once weak. We shall see who master, yes. Hmm. Who else inhabits this place? Many wander these halls, yes. Marrow filled bones, hard of herd of dead flesh. We have blight, blighted ones, all ruled by the silent king. She spits in disgust, who tells us what to do, what do, to do, what not to do. Also the little tasties, bloodied rats, rubs her clawed hand. So did the undead not get along? Tell me of your own kind. We are the blighted ones, yes, the Skate. Her lovely ghouls, her children, always hungry. What are you doing here? We fight, win, and feed bloody ones such as we become food. <laughs> In the end, ravenous hunger we have. Burn the stomach, never full. We hunger all the time. How did you come to be here? Wandered catacombs, hunt and kill, crack open crypts and coffin, eat bones and dead flesh. Come here. Ascanti blinks. Here, strange place. Ascanti stay among the weak, marrowed, filled bones and herd of dead flesh. 
You can make noise, talk to them, and talk back. Not easy prey, they are not still like other bones and dead flesh. But what is it you're waiting for? Wait for her weakness, yes. Wait, see how strong Scion King is. If he's stronger than our scouts, we wait and herd dead flesh to stop following marrow filled bones. What Updated my journal. Would eat all the hungry kill and small bloodied fur things. Hungry we will hunt and eat. Toxin becomes more agitated, gnashing your teeth and sprain. Oh, let's let her continue to rent. Kill them all. Search for Terran, shred, shred, herd. Dead flat, stupid, stupid cattle. Slow and weak, fit only to eat and read and tear. Okay, let her continue to rant. Want them to be quiet, still dead, dead, not talk, walk, die, and be still. Rushes clawed fish into the ground, shattering the tile in her ring. Go continue your rant. Hit them. Oh, I started, no, do not hunt the bloodied men who scavenge and creep in the tombs. Do not kill bloodied rats. Leave them be, do not hunt, do not eat, kill them all, and silence them. She surely falls silent, her rage is finally spent. The last echoes of her screaming dying away in the darkness. Give me things of value and I will help you. But I had nothing to give you except your life not eat. That is all I wish to know. Farewell. Alright. So she's not we're not getting anywhere with her. Where is the robed guy? There you are. Skelton wears what appears to be ancient priest robes, heavy and ornate, and carries a large, impressive staff, which is capped with an intricately carved horns, dangling pendants, and a girdled skull. Greetings. The skeleton's eyes glow like two burning embers, looks at you over and makes no reply. You Hagram, nod solemnly, and pendants suspended from its staff tinkle softly there is something distinguishing about its silent gaze have you seen a small bronze spear because says i've seen no such thing why does not why does seek this object or a man named farad the skeleton draws back and looks up in a way as if peering at the surface. Blood still beats in his black, warm, ridden heart. What wheezing sack of flesh still sends his pack into our homes to raid and pillage? It faces you once more. Thou were wrong to come here. We tolerate no such discreditors within our borders. I'm not part of his pack. Why then thou invade our homes and fetch and carry for your universe? I'm finding the spear for him to return for information I need. There's no other loyalty between us. Looks you over with his bony finger. Click, click, click. Thou do not seem the sort to follow such a man. Perhaps you speak the truth. Perhaps your presence here is tolerable. Good, I had some other questions. Why have I been made prisoner? This is the will of the Silent King. The, li the living who are caught here are made to languish in this halls until they join the quiet ones. Could he be convinced to allow otherwise? Updated my journal. After short, short silence, the jaws creak open. It's doubtful, but perhaps mysterious as are the ways of the Silent King. May I speak with him? Holds up a bony palm with a creep grown in puff dust. No, its voice deepened. Present echoes for a long time while it's valued the chamber. Why not? Its voice booms throughout. No living creature may pass.
doors will lead to his throne rooms, nor should I allow thee an audience, even if such things were possible. Thou shalt not see him. I need permission to leave. Holds up his palm. By no, no, by the power of the silent king, thou shalt not leave this place. What can I do to convince you? Considers for a moment. Prove to the dead nations that thou mean it no harm. Act as goodwill. Perhaps then I shall petition to the silent king. Is there some task I can perform for you? All right, let's get, get another quest going. Updated my journal. Yes, perhaps. Occasionally the ghouls will miss small packs of well-hidden cranium rats that have come to spy here. Shouldst thou come across any, be sure to slay them. Tell me about the cranium rats. They are hive-brained vermin who once came here for the great numbers feeding upon the corpses in our care. The ghouls have, for the most part, driven them back. They no longer leave their warrens to, uh, to the east of here. I bet you that's the tomb of the, the something thought. Do they have any weakness? Updated my journal. Their strength is in gathering numbers. If one were to find a way to slay small separate groups, the stronger packs would slowly lose power. If the rat warrens to the east, for instance, they are very powerful. Brain vermin killed in the hive above might weaken them. Oh, I wish to know. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Something about healing. Some questions. Uh, we're in need of help. Can you help us? No, though they're not prisoner here waiting for my death, the answer would be different. Why am I? I'm gone. All right, so what is that? Seek out and slay cranium rats in the dead nation. Let me to look around for the dead nation and slay any cranium rats I'm up and upon. All right. I might have find. Never mind. Okay. I will hear you. I was about to ask, where am I going to find? You see that? Huh? Your reasons for your incessant clicking are not known to me. Damn it. There you are. I'm gone. I need to add some questions. I found and killed a group of cranium rats in the rubble of the old passageway. Updated my journal. Oh, that is some XP's. It nods. I suppose thou have our thanks. May the Silent King watch over thee. But can you speak to the Silent King for me now? Holds up its paw. No, by the power of the Silent King, thou shalt not leave this place. But what else Updated can I my do journal. to convince you? The skeleton priest hums deeply. The lights of its eyes dimming as it thinks. There go, rid us of that damnable dustman. I now shall speak to the silent king of the of thy freedom. However, I do not seek to have him assassinated. Merely give us a reason to remove him from the dead nation. What troubles you so much about Sega? He tries to convince us to give up the, this passion of life, as he calls it, and pass into the true death. He claims that it is our passions that anchor us to this life. We must let go of them in our duty. He wants us to die. Updated my journal. Some listen to his words, but none have chosen to surrender themselves to his beliefs. Those that did would be forever silenced. Our numbers would dwindle, and all that we would have here would be destroyed by what surrounds us. They're going to believe he is doing right, but in truth, causing us great harm. Why do you allow him to stay? We cannot force him to leave. He knows we cannot harm him. The dead truce. No undead may injure a dustman unless first attacked. Also, the Silent King wishes no slaughter in his halls. That's all I wish to know. All right. All right. Ask her. 
convince him, find a way to remove Sergei from the Dread Nation. All right. I'm gone. Let's go talk to him. On the blasted plains, Zerthamon told Git that there cannot be two skies. In the wake of his words came war. All right. Good, good talk. All right. Doesn't want him assassinated. Wants no fighting within his halls. Ah, well met. I met with a skeleton on the way in the hallways that seemed on the brink of seeking the true death. Oh, we'll speak to him now. Farewell. Um, that's gonna cause some problems. All right. Huh. Still Mary. Is a good-hearted ghoul, if slow. Cannot understand much of what she says. Not prone to violence. Dante. Dante is a brute. Only a silent king keeps her in check. I fear should hit his presence be removed, the ghouls would run rampant. Silent King. I've never seen the Silent King. I wish to, I could tell you something about him, but I have never met him. Presumably, his throne room lies beyond the crimson doors. I cannot gain entrance. Tell me a Halgrim. A stubborn one, but admirable in his piety and devotion to duty. He is my str strongest rival here. And he has kept his civilization together for many years. His passion stems from his piety and devotion to duty. Viable qualities, but misplaced. All right. Well, I'm gone. Let's see, because it looks like he kills that skeleton. Then, yeah, if it looks like he kills that skeleton, then wouldn't he? be perceived as performing s slaughter oh our lives are now of the old path oh he is having a sermon of sorts all right let's let's see how this plays out are you just all normal ghouls over here just chilling yeah you are that's the doubtful skeleton right That's the doubtful skeleton right there. I thought you were going to go talk to him. Some questions. What do you know about the civilization? There have been many centuries, I think, taking care of these have passed away in their halls. Such devotion to duty is no longer necessary. It is almost a crime. You just want to kill them. Sentence threatened. Sentience threatens the dustman. the same I have some other I have no luck here then I have the answers for thee leave me be what decision is that I think it may be time for you to hold on life I met a skeleton that is on the brink of seeking the true death Oh, I will meet with him right away. Hmm. Questions. Uh, can we rest here? Wait. No, there is a prisoner here waiting by death to answer. Alright, so I don't know what to do. All right, guys, I think I'm actually going to stop it there as we contemplate on how we're going to get Sergei out of here. Or Sergei, whatever his name is. So, yeah, we're kind of at an impasse right now. Um, I guess we could go check out... We're, like, off the map. Off the world map. I guess we... I guess we could... 
see about talking to the cranium rats and see where we can get there. Alright guys, I think that's going to end for this episode. And if you have any other hints or tricks, I'm trying to still try not to go, you know, look up a walkthrough or anything like that. But um, if there was anything in the video that you guys think that I missed, please give me a shout out in the section below. But till then, I will catch up with you guys later. Bye.